and Archimedes. And we also discuss the ancient Greeks' attitude towards infinity, so, which was a quite a different attitude than we have today. The trajectory of mathematics is rather interesting. I would say that uh, around, there's the trajectory of mathematics, around the year 1900, the, uh, the trajectory went off in a rather different direction. So it was kind of a trajectory. And then, and then suddenly it went in, in a rather different direction. Something changed around the year 1900, and the 20th century would be, a lot of the developments would have been viewed very uh, suspiciously by ancient mathematicians and former mathematicians. So ideas of, of infinity and, and infinite processes uh, were adopted after the 1900s that were not at all accepted before that time. So the ancient Greeks had quite a different approach than we do today, and it's a little bit challenging for us to, to go back and try to imagine how they thought about things. But it's also very uh, useful for us to, to, to do that as an intellectual exercise and to enlarge our own ways of thinking. So to the, to the ancient Greeks, infinity was, was problematic. It was almost like a, a religious or philosophical notion, and its role in mathematics was unclear. So infinity to the ancient Greeks was something that one should think of in, in quotes. So for example, they thought about the sequence of natural numbers as something that went on in that direction and kept on going beyond one's view. One could go along with it for as long as one had patience and energy, but ultimately the sequence left you behind. Okay. So uh, th this kind of sequence, even though it was unending, but could not be could not be encompassed. It did not make sense to say, let's look at all of the natural numbers at once. That was not something that the Greeks did, that they avoided saying that. These days, we don't have such scruples. These days, we just wave our hands and we, we write things like n equals the set, one, two, three, dot, dot, dot. And we expect that this dot, dot, dot somehow encompasses all those numbers. So these days, we think this is an acceptable thing, but for most classical mathematicians, not just Greek mathematicians, but also Euler, Newton, Gauss, all the great mathematicians, they would have looked at this with deep suspicion. They, they would not have accepted this. So when we go back to the, uh, to the ancient Greeks, we, we learn a sort of a different way of thinking than the usual one today. All right, so our story today concerns primarily these uh, two great mathematicians, Eudoxus and 